Right, good morning everyone. I am going to make a presentation um, on trade facilitation and economic development. I'm going to make that presentation in the context of the African continental free trade area. Did you know that the African continental free trade area is going to be the largest free trade area in the world measured by the number of countries and peoples participating in it. The agreement connects 1.4 billion people in 55 countries with a combined GDP of 3.4 trillion United States dollars. That is truly phenomenal. Trade facilitation itself is the simplification, modernization and harmonization of import and export procedures. It is very critical, especially in the African context, as it brings competitiveness. Now, what are the challenges that face Africa today? Bureaucratic delays, and red tape are quite common. Inefficient process and procedures at border posts, corruption, lack of automated automated pros processes, um, old, you know, dilapidated or lack of infrastructure at all crossing points. These basically increase the cost of doing business and inhibits intra and inter-African regional trade. Make no mistake about it. Now, with the coming in of the um, African continental free trade area, that agreement itself deals very decisively on trade facilitation. The protocol on trade in goods specifically that contains two annexes dealing with trade facilitation. Annex 3 deals with customs cooperation and mutual administrative assistance. And Annex 4 deals with trade facilitation. Briefly, Annex 3 deals with state parties' cooperation on all areas of customs administration, whilst Annex 4 deals with the simplification and harmonization of international trade procedures to expedite import, export, and transit of goods. Now, let me talk about very vital statistics in this context. The Africa continental free trade area is obviously the objective of increasing intra-Africa trade. Now, if you look at UNECA, it had projected that with the establishment of the continent, Africa continental free trade area and enhanced trade facilitation. There is a likelihood of inter-Africa trade increasing by 21.9% by 2022. Antad had equally made a prediction that with the implementation of the trade facilitation in the African context, especially within the African continental free trade area, US 85 billion um, would, be add, would be added to intra Africa trade, which is an increase of about 128.4% by the end of 2022. Let's look at other statistics. Um, establishment of the African continental free trade area would boost Africa income 
by 450 billion by 2035. Now, of the 450 billion, 292 billion would come from implementation of the trade facilitation agreement. That's phenomenal. That's very, very phenomenal. Africa is uh, basically the region that is expected to gain more from the implementation of the trade facilitation agreement. There's an expectation of, um, um, of a reduction in costs of 16.5% just by the implementation of the trade facilitation agreement.